Hi folks, Simon here. Welcome to today's Final Fantasy VIII Remastered live stream. And we are, of course, playing the PS4 version once more. And I put a couple of videos out of the PC version, uh, but this is just continuing on with our playthrough. Trying to get the Platinum Trophy, something that I'm very much looking forward to doing. Uh, I actually need to go back at some point to get the Platinum Trophy for Final Fantasy IX. I thought I had that, but I was checking my trophies out earlier. And I haven't. I've even got the Jump Rope Trophy, but I'm just missing out on a couple of others. So, not sure what happened there. Uh, anyway, that's not what we're doing today. So, we are going to be making our way into Trebia Garden, actually. I did fly Balam Garden over here, which is the only thing I've done between the last stream and this stream. And greetings to everybody that's joining us in live chat. It's good to see you all. How is everybody doing this fine Monday morning? Uh, start of the week. Lots of plans for you all, I'm sure. Uh, Magnamic, welcome to the stream. How's it going? And who else have we got? Mayo, Re, Serenity, Crystal Phoenix, Rinoa as well, and Poochie Head. Welcome, guys. Oh, hello, Yum Yum. And hey, thanks for the feedback, Re. I'm glad you like the content. It's always. A pleasant surprise when somebody comes and, and says something like that in chat, so appreciate that. Thank you. Morning, Mark. And Ricky, good morning. Yeah, welcome, folks. You just want to get home and play Final Fantasy VIII. Oh, I know the feeling. Yeah, no, I'm looking forward, as I say, to getting the Platinum Trophy here. So that's why we're going to be cracking on today with pretty much where we left off previously. 33 hours into our playthrough already and we're still on chapter 2, uh, no, disc 2. Although it's not really disc 2 on the digital version, is it? Right, good morning Shannon, Robert and Chris and Kyle. <coughs> Excuse me. Welcome guys. How is everybody doing? Hey, morning Shana. Well, that's very kind of you, Magnamic, for subscribing. Yeah, got a whole ton of Final Fantasy content on the channel, guys, if you haven't seen it already, though I'm sure most of you here have done. All right, then, well, let's make a start, shall we? So we're going to be going through some story stuff. Uh, we are going to be winning a new card, hopefully, today as well, in the form of Selfie's card, but I'll talk about that a little bit later when we get to it. Right now, we just need to make our way through some scenes and stuff. There's also a couple of magazines that we can grab. Uh, one of which can be a little bit tricky, so I'll show you about that. But again, I'm sure some of you guys here on chat know all about it. But I won't take things for granted. Uh, Serenity says had a really weird bug that wouldn't let me put Zell in the party, but after a few saves and quitting, it let you. Super weird like uh, that Chocobo search bug also. Yeah, I had a weird search. Is that the one you're talking about, Serenity? Uh, I did a video or something, I think it was, and I had a weird, weird bug where I was pressing the button and the whistle wasn't coming up. It was really annoying, but I got it to work in the end, whatever it was. Uh, well, glad you got it sorted anyway, Serenity. Yeah, the remastered version does seem to have just one or two bugs that weren't in the original game, which is kind of odd. Hmm, strange. Uh, hey, morning, Alex. How's it going, dude? Thanks for stopping by. Good of you to join us. Still on the back burner for you, is it, Crystal? Ah, okay, I've not played Dragon's Dogma myself. And congrats on getting the Tom Guardian Force V. Uh, hey, One Winged Angel, Sophie Roth. How's it going? And, oh, super chat from Shannon Barrett. That's very kind. Thank you, Shannon. That's awesome. Greetings from the US. I've been watching the heck out of your playthrough and really appreciate the time and effort you've put into the videos. Well, thank you very much. I'm glad the series has been helpful to you. And yeah, really appreciate that super chat. Yeah, cheers. Thanks for that. And I'm glad that the series is helping you and others as well, which it seems to be, which is always good to know. Yeah, I've not played Link's Awakening yet. I haven't actually played the original. Would you guys that have played it, because I know a few of you have, Zelda Link's Awakening, recommend it to a new player that's never really played the original game, or in fact many Zelda games? I've seen a few videos on it and I do like the look of it, but I'm worried because it won't have that nostalgia factor for me, that I won't appreciate it as much as some of you folks that are really familiar with that series. Uh, 
Right, well, with Selfie making her way up the netting, it's time for us to follow. Yeah, welcome, folks, to those of you that have just joined us the last couple of minutes. Uh, Robert says, need a tutorial on who to junction the Guardian forces to when it comes time to levelling. Oh, absolutely, Robert. Yeah, that is actually a video I'm planning. I haven't done it yet because I'm not at the stage where I need to level my characters. Uh, but hopefully, you know, it won't be much longer and I'll be able to do that video where I go ahead and, uh, yeah, show, show where to put guardian forces and stuff, who to junction them to, because there is a good system you can have between setting up a magic character with guardian forces that boost that character, strength based character, and then defense based character. So no, it's a good idea and it's one I am planning. Uh, old gamer. Hello. Greetings. Hey, thanks. Yeah, appreciate you stopping by for the stream. And Shannon says, really appreciate the positive vibes on your stream. Well, that's very kind, Shannon. And actually, uh, one thing I've noticed is that we actually get a really good community going on these streams. So, chat tends to be quite a good place. And a lot of YouTube chats are not always like that, I'll be honest with you. I mean, sure, you get the odd trolls and stuff. But uh, on the whole, I've got to say, you know, you guys, you really do rock, so... Thanks for joining these streams and, and making them such a cool place to be. Especially when I'm playing Final Fantasy VIII. What a better way to do that than chilling out with some uh, like-minded gamers at the same time. Morning, David. How's it going, dude? Right, okay. So, we've made our way over to Trebia Garden. And Selfie has, of course, gone off uh, in a bit of a stress, seeing the state of it. The aftermath of previous events. Uh, so we need to go and speak to her first of all before we continue on here. Hey Camel, welcome back to the stream. Uh, Serenity says, been following your streams and videos and when I have Zell in the party, the kid isn't showing behind the boxes. Is there any way to fix it? Are you talking about the rascal guy, Serenity, in Ballam Town? If you are, if that's who you're speaking of, the, the, I think it's called the Big Bad Rascal or something along those lines. If that's the kid you're talking about, you do have to speak to people in a specific order to get him to show. Um, I can't remember what it is off the top of my head without being there. But if, it's not, if you're doing exactly what I'm doing in that video and it's not working, then I'm not sure why that would be. I'm really sorry. Because the way I do it in the video is the way it needs to be done. But... Uh, oh, you're off to work, are you, Shannon? Well, thanks for stopping by. And yeah, appreciate that super chat as well. That was very kind of you. So have a good day at work. Take care. And we'll catch up again soon. Uh, Mitch says, thinks Final Fantasy VIII is underappreciated. And the, yeah, well, you know, I would say that FF8 is definitely one of the most, or I would actually say it is the most divisive Final Fantasy uh, on the PlayStation era, at least. So, yeah, I would do agree with that because I enjoy it a lot myself that it is underappreciated. Alex, thanks for the super chat. Fire Emblem, picking it back up. Uh, I've got no plans to at the moment, Alex, mainly because I've never played Fire Emblem before. Uh, I do want to get back into it on my own personal gaming time, but I don't think I have time to cover it on YouTube in a way that I think would be of good quality, if that makes sense, because I just do not know enough about the game, having never played anything from that franchise before. So I did dabble in it a little bit on YouTube, but... I very quickly realised that it just wasn't really going to work out. But maybe in the future, if I become a bit more of a veteran, <laughs> I might have a, you know, a bigger clue of what I'm doing then. Well, so many uh, folks stopping by and chat today. Yay! Hans de Toy? De Toy? Apologies, probably got your name completely wrong. I butcher most people's names, so don't take it personally. But yeah, it's good to catch you on live stream. And greetings to you in sunny South Africa. It's actually quite sunny here in the UK today. Uh, which, you know, we can't take that for granted in September here, so very grateful for that. Not too hot, though. Uh, let's just select, just play along with it here. Hello, Belinda. Welcome. Yeah, it is, Alex. I was very much enjoying it, actually. But I quickly realised just how much work it was going to take to really understand the gameplay mechanics. 
Um, so I do definitely plan on, on, you know, playing the game more myself, but I just don't think I'm at the level where it's worth trying to bring any content out for it. Yeah, hey Adam. Good to see you. Yeah, no, you just catch what you can catch. That's awesome. Uh, other things in real life sometimes take over, don't they? Right then, so this is where we can grab a, a, one of two magazines, actually, in this area. But we have to do it very specifically. Hey, Matthew, welcome to the stream. Well, I'm surprised there's so many in chat here on a Monday morning. I thought I was going to be here by myself, so what a pleasant surprise. If we just walk slowly, then I think the magazine should pop into view. Yeah, there it is, but you can very quickly leave the screen if you're not paying attention. And this is Weapons Monthly August issue. So just be careful going down to that one, or you will leave the screen and miss it and then have to try again. Uh, I don't think it has any long-term effects not being able to get him to show up Serenity. All it does, I think, is let you leave Ballam Town earlier than you otherwise would be able to because you're locked into the story. And it also eventually gives you access to the Pandemona card a little bit earlier than you would otherwise get it as well. Uh, there might be other things that are caused by not actually finding him or speaking to him as I did. But I don't know of any off the top of my head. Hey Red Mario. How's it going? Yes, I do plan on getting the selfie card. Uh, I'll probably get that just a little bit later. So I'm just going through the story at the moment. But I will be getting the selfie card today. Well, I think this is a Thunder Draw point. A uh, Thunder Gar. Now I guess we can give that to Renoa. She should have some space for it. Yeah, I'd love some kind of re-release of uh, Crisis Core. Since how it still only exists on the PSP. But I guess we'll find out. Well, I guess, you know, we might not. But maybe we'll find out. Um, since Square are obviously pushing Final Fantasy 7 at the moment because of the remake in due course, whether they're going to be doing a remake, uh, sorry, a remaster of Crisis Core. Uh, da, 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 da. Harrieth, hey, welcome. A uh, bit off topic, but is there progress on getting the sight and grat in the Switch version of Final Fantasy 12? I haven't checked it out myself for a while, I'll be honest, Harrieth. Um, I... The last I checked, there wasn't, but now that you've mentioned it and reminded me, I will have to check that out at some point after the stream. Uh, see if there's any any more means of being able to force that spawn of Sight and Grat. Be awesome if there is, but I'm not going to get my hopes up for it. That's good to know actually, Red Mario, a way of getting aura. Yeah, I don't think I've got Aura yet. There hasn't been a means of drawing it consistently, has there? Uh, I'm pretty sure I've got all of the Timber Maniacs, Rinoa. Save the girl on the tracks. Um, if I didn't get it... I think that's one I can still get, isn't it? I'll have to check. I hope so, because there is a trophy tied to the Timber Maniacs. Uh, Zaruk, good afternoon. How's it going, dude? Thanks for joining us in chat. Right, anyway. Oh, what's... Thundergar's respawned already. That was flipping fast, wasn't it? Oh, well. It started to, anyway. Anyhow, now that we've got the two magazines here, we're going to head across to the left-hand side of the screen. Chat some of these folks if we want to. I think this dude's been trying to uh, spawn Tom King. <laughs> I apologise, but we got there first. Tom King is ours. Okay, Crystal. Uh, yeah, I don't know why I never bothered with Aura early on. It's possible it's just too much of a grind or something, so I didn't do it. I can't remember. Uh, 
Oh, I haven't tried that myself yet, Kevin. Uh, is that to give permanent boost to HP? I mean, you can actually make infinite money in this game, but that's still a heck of a lot of gil, so that would take some time, even just, you know, going through shop menus and stuff. But trying to get max HP in Final Fantasy VIII isn't too difficult. Once you started levelling and junction some powerful magic like regen or the like onto your HP stat. Especially if you use HP bonus when you level up as well. But yeah, I'll have a look at, you know, maxing out stats and stuff a little bit later on. Oh, okay, Red Mario. Yeah, next time we leave Trebia, maybe I'll have a have a nose in the forests and see what we can find. Right, so we need to speak to, or interact with rather, this terminal. This just triggers a scene. Hey Luke, welcome. Yeah, the thing is, the low level playthrough of Final Fantasy VIII isn't itself like a, a challenge, as it would be in other games. If you do a low level playthrough in Final Fantasy VII or IX, or whatever the case may be, then that's seen as a challenge. But in Final Fantasy VIII, it's actually a means of overpowering your uh, party members because the enemies don't level up either. And when you junction high magics, you relatively become more powerful than they do. But on top of that, then, you actually get to max out your stats later on when you do level up with all of the Guardian Force plus uh, stat abilities equipped that you've learned by them. So it is the most optimal way to play, but... It's not necessary by any stretch of the imagination. Uh, yeah, Dragon Quest XI on the Switch on Friday, is it, Philip? Wow. Yeah, I'm interested, or intrigued at least, by the 2D mode, uh, which wasn't available in the demo, so we couldn't check that out. But it was definitely something I'm looking forward to seeing more of. Um, I'm not going to be getting it, unfortunately, because I still haven't completed the PS4 version, and I can't really afford to buy another game at the moment since I purchased Nino Kuni Remastered recently. Uh, and I'm looking forward to purchasing uh, the Star Wars game in about a month's time. And there's another game as well that I'm planning on getting. So I've got to make choices. And as much as I would love to play the Switch version of Dragon Quest XI to check out that 2D mode and stuff, I just don't think I'm going to be able to justify it, unfortunately. But let us know how you get on with it, Philip. Because it does look pretty awesome. Uh, not much longer now until disc 3. Not much longer at all, really. So, in fact, we're pretty much getting to the end of it. We've got one more event to, that takes place after Trebia Garden, story-wise. And then that'll take us into disc 3. But don't forget, there's actually four discs worth of content in Final Fantasy VIII, so that won't be the final disc. Fataloko Swee! Hey, finished your cup of tea. Awesome. I've already had about five cups of tea today, so that's why I'm taking a break on the Pepsi Max. Just as much caffeine, but... Even I can overdose on tea if I drink too much. How many aura magics do you get from a single stone? Or a single uh, fury fragment, rather. Hey, Damon. Welcome to the stream. I trust you had a pleasant weekend. Right, let's chat to these folks here. Oh, no one-winged angel. Yeah, unfortunately, it doesn't work on him, does it? Hey, Max. Welcome to the stream. And to everybody else that's joined us over the last few minutes, good to have you with us. Just making our way through the events of Trebia Garden here. <laughs> well, not in a whole day, Shana, but in, like, the morning. Perhaps it does start to get a little bit excessive. Makes me feel a little bit nauseous if I have more than about five cups. Yeah, I've been farming them, David. I'll show you what I've got right now. Uh, Rinoa, who is my Ultima drawer. 
Where the heck's the Ultima gone? Oh, there it is. She's got 85. You want to keep her on 85. Since you can draw up to 15 at a time. If you have more than 85 Ultima on Rinoa, then she can't draw, you know, as much as she might do. So she's got 85. Uh, Squall has now got... Where is he? Probably just gone past it, haven't I? Squall, I thought Squall had it. Oh, I must have given it to Zell. Oh, what? I am really confused. Did I go past it? I must have given it to somebody else. Oh, there. Oh, no. Vinoa. Okay. There's a bit of a disaster here, guys. My ultima's disappeared. Something's not right here. Yeah, there is a triple triad mod for the regular Final Fantasy VIII, Jason. Oh no, Squall has got it. I was just not seeing it for some reason. It's under Tornado. I was panicking then. Yeah, Squall's got 100. Uh, Vinoa's got 85 and Zell started his collection. He's on 8. So not much longer and I'll have 3 sets of 100. YouTube, thanks for subbing. But yep, yeah, I've been uh, using the draw points. Right, chat to the kid. If we can. Yeah. Yeah, I just wasn't seeing it, guys. I think I must have, um, like, sorted my magic out. Because I thought it was on page 8. And it wasn't. It was somewhere else, so... Yeah, cheers, folks. It's alright. Panic over. I found it. I was thinking, have I screwed my save files up somehow? Have I loaded an old save at some point and missed out on all my Ultima? But no, it's there. It's okay. It's fine. The game isn't broke. Well, the game might be broken, but not in this instance. That was just uh, my eyesight was broken more than anything. Right, we'll start our Aura Collection. Uh, I don't remember the original mod off the top of my head, Jason. But I do like the look of the new mod. I especially like the fact that they've crisped up the uh, the actual game board. Because I think that's something Square should have done, to be honest with you, with the remastered version. Yeah, absolutely. Ultima is the ultimate magic, isn't it? Right, head over here for a scene. Yeah, that's what I've been doing, Robert. Well, I was at one point. Now I'm just popping back every now and then. Uh, but to get a good head start, I was just running around with high speed on outside the little town. Uh, and then kept going to draw it for 5,000 gil, which isn't too bad because by the time you go and draw it each time, you've got your seed payment. So you're not really losing money. I'll just chat to some of the folks here. Uh, it's difficult to say Serenity because of the fact that it's going to depend more on whether you're doing optional content as well or just storming through the story. But Disc 4, story-wise, is the shortest by far. But it's also the disc you're inevitably going to spend the longest on if you're going to be doing absolutely everything the game has to offer. Uh, I think Apocalypse is in the game, Luke, but I don't think... Somebody correct me if I'm wrong, I don't think there's a legit way of actually drawing it and keeping it. But somebody correct me if I'm wrong on that. Right, let's try and leave now, and then that will advance us further on. Uh, 
Yeah, no, that was helpful. Thanks, Crystal and Red Mario. So, one aura stone. Um, oh, sorry, rather, one fury fragment gives two aura stones. And two aura stones gives ten magics, is that right? We'll find out. I do appreciate the, the uh, messages, though, Crystal. Oh, yeah. I haven't actually done it myself, Philip. Just checking your message there in chat. Um, I haven't done it myself since levelling up Tombra's abilities. But I'm looking forward to seeing how much gill I can get. Problem is, I haven't exactly run out of gill anytime soon. So, I've not really had the need to. Yeah, I'm going to give that a... Try in a moment, Red Mario. Once we go ahead and make our way out of here. <laughs> hey, Wes. Welcome, dude. How's it going? I was nosing on your YouTube channel. The one where you upload content to. Uh, but I've seen you hadn't uploaded for a while. Are you taking a break from it at the moment? You can kick the basketball for a scene. Okay. I'll give it a go. Once I've got control of school here, which I don't at the moment. Oh, poor Renoa. Yeah, what system are you playing on, Luke? Don't forget, if you're playing on PS4, you can get Sight and Grat quite easily. If you're not playing on PS4, well, you're kind of out of luck there, unfortunately. Yeah, probably a good idea to take any magic off the strength stat of the person who's mugging. Right, Red Mario? Just so you don't accidentally kill them with mug. Unless they have an element absorb. Blue dragons, they might do. You could actually stick something on elemental attack so that you heal them as opposed to damage them. While still trying to mug. Oh, that's weird, Wes. What Elgato are you using? Yeah, do that, Luke. Follow it exactly on PS4. If you're not using PS4, it doesn't work, but you said you are. Yeah, so follow it exactly. And you should be able to get the sighting grat then. In fact, you should be able to get six of them quite quickly. If you want to have everybody have one. I find they're really useful, especially when going through uh, trial mode. Just to farm that place. Sight and Grat comes in particularly useful then. Hey, Pinfall Victory. Welcome. I'm still in two minds about it, Wes. Because I haven't played the original game. I know it's got good reviews. I know a lot of people are talking about it. And I sort of want to get it. But I don't know if I can justify it because I never played the original. I'm worried because it won't have that nostalgia factor for me. That I just won't enjoy it as much. I'm really interested if any of you guys didn't play the original uh, Link's Awakening. But have played the remake. What you think of it. Uh, the Elgato HD60 Pro. Oh, yeah, that's the one I was using, wasn't it, Wes? Oh, that's weird. I never had any syncing issues with that. You're talking about... Because I used the internal one, so that's probably the one I recommended, wasn't it? 
I never had any sinking issues. Um, what I might suggest, Wes, and I'm not a technical support dude, but what I might suggest is trying it in a different slot if possible. You should be able to try it in a times eight slot as opposed to a times one slot, even though the slot's quite big. I think it should still fit in there. It'll just have obviously a big space behind it. But try that because an X8 slot should be faster. Might work better for you. Sight and Grat is like a super powerful OP weapon, Robert, in the Zodiac Age that wasn't in the original Final Fantasy XII in the Western release of PS2. But normally to get it, it has a 1 in 10,000 spawn chance, which pretty much just puts it out of reach of any normal player unless they're super lucky and have won the lottery that week or something. But there's an RNG manipulation technique you can use only on the PS4 version though, not on the PC, Switch or Xbox One. But on the PS4 version, which guarantees spawning the sight and grab so you can get as many as you want. Uh, I did a video on it, if anybody's playing that game and is interested in it. Showing a tutorial on how to get it. Uh, thanks for your Zodiac Age guide. Followed it from start to finish for your Platinum Trophy. Oh, thanks, Pinfall. Congrats on the trophy. Nice job. Yeah, I saw that, David. And I don't want to sound ungrateful or anything, but my first thought was, it seems a little bit strange that they've not included Final Fantasy IX in that collection. Final Fantasy IX, in my view, was the best of the three remasters that they've put out so far for the PS1 Final Fantasies. So I'm a little surprised they didn't include it there. But still, it's always good to get physical releases. Um, although I think that's only been announced for Japan so far, if I'm not mistaken. So I'm not sure whether it's coming to the West or not. Uh, but it'd be interesting to find out, I guess, if it will. Right, we need to go through here. Yeah, absolutely, Crystal. I never used it all the time myself. But sometimes, like, when you're farming trial mode and just want to get back to a certain stage quickly, um, it tends to come in very useful in those circumstances. Uh, hey, Sotus, welcome. Does the Final Fantasy VII walkthrough you have still value for FF7 on PS4? Yeah, it should be. At least that's what people tell me that are still using it. I mean, I did that one in 2012 or 13, so it was, like, way before the PS4 release, and so there's no trophy support, as far as I remember. But I pretty much cover everything in the game, including the optional weapons that you fight and what have you. So, yeah, you should definitely be able to use that for a PS4 playthrough. Well, congrats, Pinball. Uh, Pinfall, sorry. I'm still actually trying to get the Platinum myself here because I've only been playing really when streaming. But looking forward to getting it. All right, we don't need to come back in here yet. Yeah, that's the one, Wes. It's the bow on the airship, you're right. Oh, well, that sounds like something that needs to be patched then, Wes. Um, Belias isn't too tricky in Final Fantasy XII. As long as you set up your tactics correctly. I think I've got a video on him showing the strategy I used. In my Final Fantasy XII playlist. It's been a couple of years though. So I can't remember exactly how I did it. Off the top of my head. Um, but yeah. Final Fantasy XII is, is either dead easy. Or rock hard solid. Depending on how you set up your characters. But even some of the tougher fights in Final Fantasy XII are actually really easy if you uh, have a good strategy in place. Nope. There's no difference whatsoever, Vataloko. Final Fantasy VIII Remaster is fundamentally exactly the same game as the original Final Fantasy VIII. 
So whereas, say, Final Fantasy XII, the Zodiac Age, was a very different game in many ways to Final Fantasy XII. It had been completely rebalanced and chests were different and everything else. Uh, not with Final Fantasy VIII. Yeah, check that out, Red Mario. No, that was very good. Yeah, looking forward to seeing what you do with the game now. Yeah, trial mode is definitely, in my view, the end game content in Final Fantasy XII The Zodiac Age. Those last couple of encounters are really quite tough, even harder than the uh, end game bosses in the, the main game. I know that Yes Matt has 4 million health or some ridiculous number, and Amiga has quite a, you know, a, he's just a tough boss um, in general, but neither of them compare to some of those end game fights in trial mode. The judges in particular, possibly one of the hardest super bosses in any Final Fantasy, I think. Uh, the main numbered Final Fantasies anyway. Get good, yes. That's a good strategy for pretty much any game, isn't it? <laughs> he looks very smart here, Zal does, doesn't he? Cypher was always Cypher. We can chat to some of the kids here and then Squall will share some thoughts as they disappear. Which is Star Ocean 3? Is that till the end of time? The PS2 game. If it is, I actually really enjoyed that game. But I don't remember it all that well. That was my first Star Ocean experience. I need to go back to the beach now. Just checking there's nothing secret around here, though I'm sure there isn't. Come on, school. That's more like it. Yeah, I think I used Dark Energy Renault on that fight, but I don't think I did it in six seconds. The main challenge is you got the guy that cast Elixirs on all the judges and himself, isn't it? And he spams that like there's no tomorrow. Come on, guys, let's play nice in chat. Manic DJ just killed Automacia. Ah, fantastic. Congrats. Have you got the Platinum Trophy? Are you working towards that next? Yeah, the Zero Mus is also a valid strategy. Possibly the most popular strategy that people tend to use.
We need to get the selfie card, um, but we need to speak to Selfie's friend. I'm pretty sure we haven't missed it. It's the girl that's available. Oh, that sounds so wrong. It's the girl that was around Selfie at the start earlier. Uh, but we can speak to her in a bit anyway. Right, let's speak to Irvine. <laughs> hey Isaiah, how's it going dude? Did you have a good weekend? Nah, don't worry Crystal, I only intervene before things escalate. Uh, David, yeah, you discovered Red Mario's channel. Yeah, go and check it out, guys, if you haven't already. He's just started up with Final Fantasy VIII. Wow, there's a lot of dialogue to get through here. Well, it's good to hear, Manic DJ. Uh, yeah, there are some Emerald weapons about. In particular, there's Ultima weapon, if you haven't fought him yet. And if you're feeling really brave, there's Amiga weapon, who's basically the main endgame challenge of Final Fantasy VIII. But set your strategy up right, and he won't cause you any problems, in all honesty. Uh, GoQuest100, hi, new to your channel. I joined two weeks ago when I saw your Final Fantasy IX walkthrough. Hey, well, welcome to the channel. Appreciate you stopping by. Good to see you on stream as well. Thank you. Now today joins us. Good morning. How's it going? Uh, the orphanage twist. It's kind of strange, I suppose. It's like... I suppose you could say it's hard to believe, but I mean, it is Final Fantasy at the end of the day. Although, I guess Final Fantasy VIII uh, does tend to get, uh, yeah, I say it's fair to say it gets criticised for the direction of the story towards the, the last half, really. Especially as we start to really get into the zany stuff a little bit later. So, the orphanage stuff is really just the beginning of where Final Fantasy VIII really starts to take a turn. Uh, Excalibur 2, Red Mario. Yeah, I've done a walkthrough series on Excalibur 2. Uh, Jack, can I stream after working hours? Uh... It's a bit difficult. I do try to sometimes. I do do evening streams. But it's a little bit difficult for me to do that regularly. Because I'm usually busy doing other things in the evening as well. But I do certainly try to from time to time. I'm really sorry guys. Your messages are happening so fast. I can't keep up with them anymore. Pretty darn insane. Yeah, no probs, Tim. You're welcome. The only... No, you're right, it isn't Mario. The only thing is that it is kind of tied to a trophy, which is a bit annoying. So if you want to get that, you do need to get the um, weapon. Even though it's probably not really worth the effort for the weapon itself.
Right, I'm pretty sure, thanks for reminding me, I'm pretty sure I have actually sorted out Trabia's rules. We did that in Galbadir Garden with the exchange student, didn't we? Um, you can still sort the rules out, Robert, later on. Uh, I don't think Selfie's card is missable. I'm pretty sure it isn't. But maybe I'm wrong on that. Yeah, somebody let me know if I'm wrong in chat. Hey, Anthony, welcome to the stream. I can't remember exactly what strategy I used to defeat Amiga Weapon previously uh, on my 2017 walkthrough, I think it was. But I do remember it wasn't challenging. Well, you know, it was challenging because it's a meager weapon, but not as challenging as I expected it to be. Hey, John, welcome to the stream. Right, who did we speak to then? Is that Selfie? I can't remember. We need to speak to people in order here, then we can progress. Ah, nice shock master. Are you going to work towards the platinum or have you got that already? <laughs> That's an awesome finish then. Yeah, I still haven't sorted out the other ultimate weapon upgrades for the other characters. Um, I've got Squall's Lionheart. And I've even had the Lionheart Limit Break activate a few times, especially when I was fighting the Tombreys. But... I do need to work on the others. Ba -ba. Oh, you're making good progress then, Gorkras. Uh, seriously, first, why did you time me? I haven't timed anybody out, Serenity. My hands haven't moved off the controller. Unless somebody else has. I'm actually struggling to keep up with chat, to tell you the truth. So that's why I have uh, mods to sort it all out for me. I think Vite Zero is supposed to work a treat on Amiga. I'll bear that in mind as well. Although I'll probably just use the same strategy that I used before. Hey, who are you? Who, who are you? How's it going? Welcome to the stream. Matty, Martin, Alexander, thanks for subbing, appreciate that. It looks like there's been some explosion of drama in chat. Uh, I've missed what it was. Yeah, I still seem to be getting the blame for it, which is funny. <laughs> Guys, whatever's going on in chat, let's just try and sort it out, shall we, and... And move on. I was saying at the start of the stream how we've got a cool community going on here. So let's try and keep that up, shall we? I know what the internet's like. Things tend to escalate fairly quickly when they begin. When drama starts, we've done a good job of avoiding it up until now. So let's try and keep at it.
Someone called you a sexist, did they, Wes? Oh, dear. Yeah. There's the problem with streaming, playing a game, and trying to keep up with chat. <laughs> is that I tend to miss half of what's being said. And now I've caught on to the tail end of the drama. That I think I've missed the context of it. So I am just trusting the mods to sort it out for me. That's what they're there for. Anyway, getting back to the game now. We've nearly finished with this lengthy dialogue session. And I've been playing for 51 minutes on stream so far. And pretty much that's all we've had. So we should be able to get the selfie card soon. Uh, when we go back to Trevia Garden. Yeah, I won't even try and pronounce your name there. That's just a bunch of lines and dashes. Looks like a smiley face, which is pretty awesome. Uh, but it's your first time watching these live streams. Well, welcome to the stream. Yeah. Seems to be the mad pit today. But welcome anyway. Kept Squall on one health, but Lionheart refused to go. Oof. Yeah, to actually get the Lionheart finisher when you cast Squall's Limit Break, it is, as far as I'm aware, just completely random. So, again, folks, let me know if I'm wrong about this in chat. But when Squall activates his uh, Limit Break, the finishing move, first of all, doesn't even have to be triggered uh, after Enzakukan has cast. But even if it is, it's completely random which limit break gets activated. Yeah, I think it is, Wes. I think this rivals some of the cutscenes from Star Ocean 4. Yeah, one of the good things about the turbo speed, isn't it, Pinfall? Cutscene, speed up. I love it. I didn't even know you could play those games on Wii U, Hans. Uh, yeah, three times speed doesn't work on the cinematic cutscenes. Oh, goodness, this scene's still going on. Well, we've got our next destination in mind, anyhow. I completely forgot how long this scene was. Triggering Omni Slash. 
I'd love to know what that trick is, Red Mario. Actually, what do you guys prefer? Omni Slash from Final Fantasy VII or Lionheart from Final Fantasy VIII? Which do you think is the most powerful? I mean, I'm not sure how many hits Lionheart tends to hit for. But... I think it's got to be more powerful than Omni Slash, hasn't it? Right, okay, so let's head into these forests, shall we? Uh, we're going to head back in a moment into Trebia to win Selfie's card. In fact, let's do that first of all. Let's just save since we got through all of that dialogue now. Oh, yeah, I know the feeling, Wes. Yeah, we've got the garden invasion stuff coming up, haven't we? Right, we should be able to get Selfie's card, though. So, save the game, should anything happen and we actually lose a card, which... It's happened from time to time, I'll be honest. Uh, which is Selfie's friend? Oh, it's this one here, isn't it? Oh, we can get more Thunderguards now. Whoa, 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 whoa. Slow down with that turbo speed, Squall. Uh, we've got the plus wall still, that's okay. Yeah, we should be able to win. Here, without too much of an issue. Uh, who do I normally have? Oh, we don't want Renault, actually. Renault is kind of a sucky card, I've decided. Although her double aces are really helpful, her double fours, or whatever they are, are very unhelpful. Yeah, Omni Slash, in terms of the animation... I think is the best out of the two. But in terms of just raw damage, I'm pretty sure Lionheart hit, hits for more times than Omni Slash. Hey, Thunder Dragon. How's it going? How's the stream going? I mean, your stream, not mine. Uh, right. Ooh. She plays Selfie's card straight from the get-go here. Uh, let's see. Oh, dear. She's looking pretty darn. I think we're going to have to take one of these cards, even though ours is just going to get taken back. Let's see what happens. Ah, oh, that's cool. We're winning. What? I completely forgot about plus. Uh, six. Okay, yeah. That makes sense. Um, okay, so we need to actually reload because I've lost this no matter what. Okay, so we've, plus is quite an annoying rule. I'm trying to think why I kept it when we sorted the rules out uh, in Galbadia recently, or the last time we were there. Luckily we saved. I did say it's important to save, didn't I? Because you never know what's going to happen. When it comes to card games. Yeah, because you're going for a world record, aren't you, Thunder Dragon? When are you going to be doing that? Yeah, plus sucks. What did I say? It's okay to play with. I've changed my mind. No, don't want me now. I need to get rid of it. Oh, of course, now she's not going to play the flipping selfie card. How typical. Yep, yeah, Red Mario's absolutely right, as far as I'm aware. Uh, so... Uh... Ah, oh, yes, let me see how that works. Uh, three. I'm trying to work out how the plus rule actually works here. Yeah, that's right. If we keep the plus rule now, it, I said it makes it easy, didn't I, to abolish rules later. Abolish rules later. But I'm actually struggling. I, the, I also said at the time, the only card game we need to play in Trebia 
is the game to win selfies card. Which is what we're doing now. So, uh, before, we should be able to win this still, but, oh no, we can't. We can only draw. I'm just trying to figure out exactly what the plus rule is. Right, so he put Snow Dragon there. Which ones is it that add up? How did he take both of these is what I'm thinking. If two sides of the same card add up. I don't get it. I just don't get it. Oh yeah. Well it doesn't really make any difference. I'm going to have to reload. Oh no, we did end up winning because of the plus rule. I don't get the plus rule. I just don't get it. I think I'm too stupid to understand. At least we didn't lose that time. Right, let's try again. Right, we've got Selfie's car played this time, but maybe going first we might have a better chance here. Oh man, he keeps playing, or she keeps playing, this stupid card with a seven. That can be any card I can play to take Selfie's card. Oh, I need to be a little bit careful here, because I don't know how the plus rule works. Oh, is that right, is it, David? Well, that's good to note. Hey, Daniel, welcome to the stream. Yeah, been doing very well, thanks. How are you? Uh, probably do a plus roll or something. Oh, no. No, we actually won. Right, I don't know what the plus roll does. I don't really care. We won what we needed. That's all that matters, really. Let's just get out of here now. I'll check it out later. Don't worry. Once I'm not concentrating on streaming, playing and trying to catch up with you guys in chat, I'm sure I'll figure it out. It doesn't matter now though. I've got the selfie card. That's all that's important. Okay. Plus rule adds the two numbers on yours and your opponent's cards. If they add to the equal... Plus happens. Example 6, 9 and 7. 6 equals 13. Okay, still don't understand that. Sorry, Red Mario. But I will figure it out later. Hey, Shockmaster, thanks for subbing. Much appreciated. Oh, that's quite a bit though, Thunder Dragon, isn't it? Especially because... You don't know... When it's going to happen, do you? Oh, sorry, I mean, you don't know if it's going to happen. Type of thing. Um, one thing I'm going to try and do at this point is just pop back to the library. I might have missed one, though, is the only annoying thing. Speak to the girl with pigtails, if we can. Uh, Crystal Phoenix. Okay. Oh, yeah, I did miss it the first time. So you have 5 plus 3 equals 8 on one side. And then on another, you have 6 equals 2 equals 8. That is the plus rule. Okay. Thank you. I think it's just about starting to make some sense. Just about. It's a complex rule for my simple brain is the problem. Roxana, welcome to the stream. Hey, thanks. Appreciate it. Yeah, random is actually a terrible rule, unless you, like, delete all of your rubbish cards, or refine them, or whatever, and only leave yourself with good cards. Then random is actually no bother at all. Yeah, welcome, folks, to those that have stopped by stream recently, the last few minutes. Good to have you here.
Oh, by the way, guys. The um, selfie card that we just won, we can refine it immediately because we don't need that one as part of the uh, Queen of Cards side quest. And I think you get... I think it's the uh, Guardian Force that gives you the four times elemental slots. Although you learn at least two Guardian Forces, or rather two Guardian Forces, learn that naturally, anyhow. I think it's two, it might only be one. Yeah, if you guys are interested, Thunder Dragon is actually going for a world record streaming attempt. Um, something like 161 hours of streaming non-stop. Uh, an official world record with the Guinness World Record. So feel free to check out Thunder Dragon's channel. And show some support there. Yeah, I think plus, same plus... Uh, you can have as a rule, can't you, Red Mario? Which is uh, just a terrible thing. Next stream is going to be to, uh, Wednesday, Roxana, about 2.30pm UK time. So, okay, guys, I have been streaming recently quite regularly, uh, five or six times a week. But I'm currently cutting back to a more realistic streaming schedule of uh, Monday, Wednesday and Fridays, about 2.30pm UK time. So I'm hoping to be able to keep that going consistently. Yeah, I think I'm starting to understand the plus rule now, folks. So it's the two sides, isn't it, together that have to add up. But it has to make an equal number, doesn't it, to the, pre to the other card. Yeah, that's the problem, David. Kind of cheat. It's like when you have the open rule. I mean, the computer basically has the open rule even when you don't. So when you can't see your opponent's cards, they can still see yours because the computer's the one that's put them there, so it already knows. I've never done a speedrun of Final Fantasy VIII myself. A lot of people have mentioned that, though. Is that a big thing in the Final Fantasy VIII community? I wonder what the fastest time is that somebody's made their way through the game. I've never really been a speedrunner myself. The only one that I've ever done was Final Fantasy IX to get Excalibur 2. But I did that as a speedrun because you have to do it as a speedrun really, don't you? Uh, or you don't get the weapon, you don't get the trophy, you don't get the platinum. Anyway, we're close by, so we're... Oh, no, I was going to... Yeah, let's go and... Oh. No, but stay in the forest. I was going to go and do an Ultima draw. But um, we'll leave that for the time being. Uh, since we're by the forest. And Red Mario has suggested farming the blue dragons and mugging them. So we'll try this forest. If not, we'll try the big one. We'll see who's got mug. I think it's Rinoa. Yeah. We'll take something off her strength. Uh, Fataloco, sweet. Hey, super chat of 20 sec. Thank you so much. That's very kind. Keep on gaming, my friend. Yeah, well, I'm really enjoying this playthrough, so I have every intention of continuing on with it. And I'm glad that you guys are enjoying it. And yeah, thanks again for the super chat. That's very kind of you. Right, let's get rid of Holy. Goodbye, Holy. And we've got Mug equipped. So let's try and mug some blue dragons. Do we have to level them up to get Fury? Whatever it is. Fury fragments. I think we do, Red Mario said, don't we? Uh, let me just make sure I've got the level up ability equipped then. Uh, I actually need to take off the no encounters ability. I forgot I had that on. Who's got Tombry? Could be Squall. Nope. Hmm, must be Zell. Maybe I was just being blind. Oh, yeah. It goes here, of course. Uh, I don't think we need to draw, so we'll just stick it there. Seven hours, 18 minutes. That's pretty darn insane. 
I suppose though, if you're not going for the optional content, you could quickly grab a few junctions, couldn't you? To make yourself OP. Oh, I'm such an idiot. To make yourself OP and then just speed through the game. Ah, okay, Red Mario. Ah, ha ha. Uh, this isn't a blue dragon, this is a snow lion thingy, isn't it? So let's just escape this battle. Uh, what? Yeah, so what are the snow lines good for? What do silver males do again? I should probably save, actually. Oh, come on, man. Uh... Yeah, what's the uh, point of levelling these guys up against that for mugging? These are the snow lions, you see. Okay, they drop silver males, do they? So I need to actually escape this battle then. Because I just mugged it. Oh, we get experience from mugging, which is annoying. Because but it's only a small amount. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Right, mug. Right, we've got one fury fragment. Let's escape. We'll see what we get from that fury fragment. Um, if so, if we go ahead and go to ability, I think it's support magic, isn't it? Uh, where's Fury Fragment? I might have more than the one we just stole. Five auras. What does that one turn into? One. Okay. Okay, so we need 20 of these then in order to get 100 aura. Oh, you are far, you Wes. Okay, well, I hope the doctor goes well for your mum, Wes. Yeah, take care, dude. Yeah, no, that's good to know. You don't need to level up Blue Dragons, Red Mario. Uh, I'm not going to farm 100, few, uh, 100 aura here then on stream. Because that'll just annoy you guys, I'm sure. But, it, you know, if I can at least get the method in here, at least you guys know how to do it then. Yeah, trying to get them to actually spawn could be a bit of a nuisance. I'm only getting one Fury Fragment at a time, which is a bit annoying. We get eight experience, so I think we can afford to mug a few of them. Although we could still go ahead and card them, that way we won't get experience, I don't think. Even if we've done damage, well, no, we definitely won't get experience, even if we've done damage to them. But can I really be bothered for the sake of 8 XP? Yeah, good little tip there, Nata. I think I did that myself, actually. Yeah, I could do a video, Shana. Might actually help people. In fact, uh, since I'm recording this, I'll use this footage. I'll go ahead... And equip the card ability. If I'm going to do a video, I might as well do it right and show people how they can do this. I've got it already. Um, without levelling up. Oh, well, that's good to know, Roxana. Uh, I'm going to jump into the other forest. Perhaps they'll spawn a little bit more frequently here. Well, that's a good start. Uh, so I need to see really how much... Health these guys have. Oh, I don't need to level him up. Why have I just done that? I'm such a... Oh. Okay, we'll just get through this one. Right, let's just see how much health it's got. Four thousand. Hmm. 
attack it a few times, I think, with Squall. Pointless attacking the game with Renoa. Oh, wow, Squall heals it. Okay. What does Zell do? He heals it as well. Let's get out of here, shall we? We're going to get some experience. But, can't bother to try and card it. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do next. So, we're going to take off... Uh, why is Squall healing it? Bio. Okay. Let's just take off Bio on Squall. And Bio off Zell. The flying things give you Meltdown. Yeah, I've actually got a hundred Meltdown on every character. But that is useful to know as well. Uh, right, we don't need to level these guys up. Right, we've got our Fury Fragments. Uh, I need to see how much health a low level one has since we haven't leveled it up. Uh, 1992. Hey! That's interesting to note. Is that what just happened then? I've got to test that out. If you restore its health, then you don't need to card it. That is super interesting if that's the case. Super interesting. I've got to test that out, actually. That would make farming these things so much easier if you're trying to avoid experience. I know we'll get experience. Oh, no, we're not going to get experience this one. We just carded it. Uh, but let me che uh, check that. So we're going to go ahead and put Bio onto Squall. That way, if it doesn't work... Um, I guess we can still attack with Zell. Bio seems to do the same trick, Shana. It might have still given experience, is the thing, Red Mario. But because it's such a small amount, might not have noticed, is what I'm thinking. So that's why I'm going to test it. Got to test these things, haven't we? Yeah, so just to clarify, guys, for those of you that don't have a clue what I'm talking about. Um, we're trying to avoid experience while also mugging off the blue dragons. Uh, now, we can just card them to avoid XP. But that takes a bit of time and effort. So, it's possible after mugging it, if we heal it to full, that it will avoid experience that way. No, it's definitely bio. But I'm going to test to make sure it works here. That we didn't just see, you know, a small amount of experience and not notice it. If I can actually get another dragon to spawn. Oh yeah, nice tip, Roxana. That water tip especially. Is uh, almost certainly something I'll be doing. Well, that's awesome then, Red Mario. I, I think we've scared them off now, though. They don't want to be healed, do they? Yeah, they are quite rare, aren't they? Put Bio on the mugger, that makes sense. Saves having to attack with the second party member, then. Plus, it stops you from killing them. Right, so we'll attack with Squall, heal him back up, and then run away. Yep, look at that, zero experience, no carding required. Awesome. Okay, so we can go for a much better setup here. What we're going to do is, has Reno actually got uh, bio magic? If not, I think Blizzard will do it, will it? Does Blizzard work? Let's try it. 
I'm going to put Holy back on. Why not? So we should just be able to mug now with Renoa. I'm assuming Blizzard is going to heal this uh, dragon when it spawns. And then we can escape immediately once we've stolen and not get experience without having to waste time carding. Yeah, I think I probably will, Red Mario. Yeah, these blue dragons, they're not the rarest enemy I've ever not encountered or ever encountered. Just going to move over to another forest. Let's see which one. Let's try this one, shall we? The big one. Right, so we'll mug with Renoa. And hopefully she'll heal with Blizzard. No, nope. oh goodness, no, we need to be careful. So Blizzard doesn't do the trick, unfortunately. Uh, so we do need to put Bio on her. Which she doesn't have, it seems. Okay, so let's go ahead and move it onto her from somebody else. Yeah, uh, probably Squall. Let's stick something else on Squall. We'll just take Bio off for now. Uh, just move that one single magic. Oh, she's full. Why does life have to be so complicated sometimes? Uh, Squall got Cura. Yes, he has. Has he got a sooner? Yep, yeah, sleep. Yep. Yeah. Ah, that's better. Right, give her bio. Uh, junction that onto her elemental attack. She already had it. I'm really confused. <sighs> I think I'm losing the plot, to be honest, guys. All these blue dragons sending me crazy. Hang on, what am I doing? Oh. I don't even know why I killed that thing. I was reading chat, not paying attention. Right, okay, here we go. Okay. Right, so we're going to try and find a blue dragon now. Uh, which can be a chore in and of itself. Yeah, Red Mario's knowledge is very, very useful. And we're all grateful to receive it, of course. I know it's taken a while. We've only just started farming. Uh, but that's because we had to work through that setup process. And now we're there. I wish there was a way to get, you know, uncommon and rare enemies to spawn a little faster. Maybe with an ability or something. Hey, another snow dragon. Didn't you say, Red Mario, that there's something good about snow dragons? They drop silver something or other. I don't remember them carrying anything useful, is the thing. Right, it doesn't seem to want to spawn now, this blue dragon. Let's head back over to the other forest. 
Yeah, definitely, Sean. I need to mention that. Oh, how I come outside the forest now? I just want one blue dragon, so at the very least, I can test this out. At least the battles are spawning regularly. Hey, at last. Right then. We'll attack at this point with Renoa. Uh, couldn't steal. That's fine. At least she's healing now. They certainly do, I was like, right, we've got the Fury Fragments. I don't need to attack with anybody else. I think we've got this set up perfectly at this point. Uh, yeah, no experience. We don't need to card them. The only annoying thing is we're only getting one Fury Fragment, and I think you're supposed to be able to get two as well. Just for faster farming, but I think we're just being bad luck on that. Right, level 30 snow lines drop silver males. Silver males teach guardian force HP plus 20%. Okay, saves from having to learn it manually. Uh, one. Sorry, 10 silver males refine into a gold arm which teaches plus 30%. Well, that's interesting to note, Red Mario. I don't think I can really be bothered to get that myself because um, HP plus 20% and 30% are learned very quickly anyway when you're farming cactuars. But it is good to note. If you want to learn them instantly. Yeah, I'm not completing this farm here because they're too rare. So we'll move on again soon. Let's just try and find one more though if we can. Oh, here we go. Let's keep it on speed up. Okay. Uh, how many have we got? We got eight. So that'll give us 40. Well, at least, guys, we know how to do this farm now. Uh, let's just go ahead and convert some of those, shall we? Oh, wait till I've got 20. I'll do it later. All right, then. Let's head back up very briefly to the Ultima draw point. Might as well grab that. Uh, since it's undoubtedly repopped at this point. Which is over here. No, I wasn't getting much luck with those blue dragons, was I, David? That's why I thought, hey, let's just take a break and come back to them in a little bit. Right then, make sure you save any time before you use the Ultima draw point because you can get quite low draws from it, which is a kind of annoying. Mm, 10. I'll keep 10. I say anything um, that's 10 or above is worth keeping. But you can reload if you want to try and get more. You can get up to 15. Um, but seeing as how Renault already had 85, we do need to move 10 back off her now. Uh, so where's her Ultimas? There they are. Uh, let's give 10 over to Zell. That's better. And as soon as Zell has a uh, 100, then we can finish off on Renault to get to 100, and we're all sorted. Ah, oh, okay, Tim. That probably explains why I was only getting how many it was just then. Well, I was only getting one every time, wasn't I? Let's just nip back and try and get a few more. Because I'll probably be finishing the stream anyway at some point soon. So, whether I finish the stream... 
and farm for them. Or farm for them on stream. I'm still going to be farming for them. Might as well get it done. Uh, where the heck's your beer garden gone? Completely forgot. I think I've come on the wrong beach. No, no, we're fine. Here we are. Let's go into the forest and save. They reset three to five minutes. What's that serenity that resets? Is that the dragons? The finish up. Oh. Yeah, I think I missed half the chat there. Sorry, guys. Yeah, I mean, aura is good for junctioning to strength, isn't it? And yeah, I mean, more limit breaks without using the uh, whatever it is. That little toggle there. I guess he's always better. At least you feel like you've earned it a bit. I'm pretty sure they must be a rare spawn, these dragons, because... It can take like 15 to 20 battles to actually get them to show up, can't it? Oh, you're talking about the Ultima draw point. That's three to five minutes. Yeah, I think that's based on the amount of steps that you do before that respawns. Yeah, it does, doesn't it, David? Right, here we go. Hey, two Fury Fragments. I love it. In the remastered version, Vataloco, you can see that little fist that comes up once you push it. It just keeps your ATB constantly filled, your health at max, and um, your limit breaks. Fully recharged all the time. Right. They seem to be spawning now. We got two quite quickly there. They're scared of losing their fury fragments, aren't they? Hey, Epion Wings, welcome. We've just done the Trebia section of the game, which was quite intensive. There was a ton of dialogue. Uh, and now we're just farming blue dragons for Fury Fragments, which can be refined into Aura Magic. Hey, your main eventer. How's it going? I'm very good, thanks. Welcome to the stream. Just caught us farming some blue dragons here for their fury fragments. Which are muggable. And it helps having blind as well as healing them. At least then they're not doing damage to you while you're farming. Or they're doing a lot less damage. I think blind has a 75% chance of preventing the... Uh, affected individual from hitting. Uh, holiday was good, thanks, Serenity. Yeah, the kids had fun. Which was the main thing, really. We took them more than anything. 
Uh, got on lots of rides at Chessington World of Adventures. The hotel was awesome because it had the animals outside the room. Yeah, those blue dragons are once again not spawning. Just go for a couple more here, then I'll probably take a break. <laughs> yeah, I think you're right there, Vataloko. They know only too well I'm trying to steal their fragments. Let's see if they're hiding out in another forest after this one. Yeah, that was actually a quote from Dr. Evil. I thought everybody was going to get that, but based on the comments on that video, I don't think anybody did. I guess I'm showing my age when uh, Austin Powers is still somewhat relevant to me. Lover 41, hero to all. Welcome to the stream. How's it going? Do you have a good weekend? Yeah, somebody mentioned that these are uncommon encounters, but... Well, they're certainly being uncommon. I'm surprised they're not rare, though. To be honest, the Ruby Dragons, <coughs> excuse me, Red Mario, um, I actually got to spawn quite frequently. So I wonder, even though the game categorises both as uncommon, whether there's spawn rates that we just don't know about, even behind, like various different spawn rates, even for the same type of commonality of enemy, if that makes sense. Or whether I've just been unlucky here. <laughs> Yeah, bit of gold member there in chat for you. Yeah, I think so, Tim. Well, happy birthday, lover 41. Yeah, I had my birthday last month. I hit a, a 30th number. I won't say which one. But by golly, am I flying through the years now. It's quite scary, actually. I wonder how many of these Fury Fragments we've got. Probably not many, because the dragons themselves haven't been spawning all that frequently, have they? Yeah, I probably will make a video on this then. Because it is a, it's actually a really useful method for getting these Aura Magics. Um, even though the spawns aren't that common, because you have the Turbo Mode option. That is close, Shana. And that is uh, a kind estimate based on the reality. I will say that. You're a couple of years off. 
Yeah, it gave me two, didn't it? I saw one gave me two, Red Mario. I don't think I've, I'm familiar with those, Serenity. I'm not really a meme expert, to be honest with you. Um, and in terms of the iPhone 11, I didn't even know the iPhone 11 had even been announced. I'm still rocking the uh, iPhone 6 here. 6S, rather. Uh, but no, I haven't seen those memes. Or maybe I have. Maybe I'd recognise them if I saw them. Hey, yeah, another two. That's got to be close to 20 now, hasn't it? Ah, yeah. Good point about Zell's weapon. Yeah, I mentioned that in the video as well. Uh, right, let's see how many we got. Uh, if we just go to support magic refinement. We've uh, got well, seven Tiffany. Three more. Oh, what the heck. Might as well do that, hadn't we, guys? Yes, yeah, spin on the spot, you got the blue dragon on. Good idea, Roxana. Ah, oh, nice. Uh, I might upgrade my iPhone at some point, but mine's still doing me well, so I haven't really felt the need to. My iPhone 6S has been fairly trusty. Oh, he's, we know we're going to have... Oh, come on, get out of here. Go, go, go. Uh, let's see, we should have a bunch of remedies, or whatever it is. Uh, what was it, poison? Blind? Yeah, blind for squall. And, uh, antidote should get rid of Renova's status effect, save our remedies. Hey, Desiree Milan, welcome! Yeah, you've only caught us doing some farming though, which I've nearly finished to tell you the truth. Trying to get some fury fragments to transfer into aura magic. Or to refine, rather. No, 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 no. Ah, I'm going to get experience. Still, not levelling up, which is good. Oh, well. Guardian force is levelled, which is always a bonus. Oh, okay. Lover for the hero to all. Yeah, well, I hope you had a good birthday. Okay, yeah, so if you're not mugging them, you've got a good chance of getting the dragon skins, haven't you? I've got to say, these snow lions look a lot more intimidating than they do on their cards. They're massive, those things. I think we still need three more, don't we? These Fury Fragments. Oh dear, dear, dear. <laughs> yeah, I've got the adamantines from refining the sacred card, haven't I? I still can't steal adamantines. Oh, no, I can because I've got the level up feature. The level up ability, rather. Right, if this guy gives us two, then we have all 20 for one person to get maxed out aura. Come on, Renoa. Ah, we're going to have to find another one. I 
And I bet we're not going to find another one for like 30 battles or something, if we're lucky. Seventy-six blue dragon cards. Um, I wouldn't get your hopes up, unfortunately, Desiree, because Square are going to be focusing on Final Fantasy VII Remake for a long time. So, if they were to remaster another Final Fantasy game, I think it's going to be so far down in the future... That I just wouldn't get your hopes up. Especially because there's just no guarantee it would be the one you want. And I doubt very much if they were going to re uh, remake another Final Fantasy game. It would be number 8. Just because unfortunately it is quite divisive amongst the fan base. Whereas Final Fantasy 7 was a game that everybody was begging for a remake for. Weren't they for so long? Whereas Final Fantasy 8 just hasn't had that. I said we'd have to farm a lot. I mean, fight a lot of random enemy encounters to find this dragon for the last one that we need. Yeah, should do really, David. I just want to get these 20 uh, Fury Fragments. Yeah, 10 to 15 years. I'll probably be dead by the time they actually get to remake another Final Fantasy game. Oh yeah, Medieval. I remember playing that. I think I played it on PSP, actually. I didn't play it. Was it on PS1 originally, wasn't it? I didn't play it on the original console. I played it on PSP. I had a lot of fun with it, so I might check out that remastered version. Or remake. Or whatever it, uh, that game is. Hey, Orias. Uh, I haven't, though I know that they dropped something that can teach, uh, I think it's Silver Male, Red Mario was saying. They can drop something that teaches the Guardian Force uh, GF HP plus 20%, but I'm not really fussed about that right now. Right now, I just need one more Fury Fragment. If I can get that, I'll be happy. Hey, we've got it. No matter what happens now, we've got it. Yeah, let's just heal up. And run away. Right, who's got space on them? Uh, has School got space? Yes, has we know she hasn't. She's already got seven auras, though. Uh, what about Zell? Yeah, maybe we could give them to Zell, since he doesn't have enough Ultima yet. Yeah, I have been tempted to do some videos on the Medieval Remaster slash Remake. I just thought that, well, I'm still thinking about whether the fact that there's going to be enough people that watch my channel that really care about that. When the heck did I get four instead of three? That last one we just farmed for was a complete waste of time. Oh well, it doesn't really matter. If we want to get 100 on the other characters, we're going to need it. Yeah, I think I am going to edit. I've recorded this footage as well without all of the stream overlay that I've got up here. Um, so I'll probably edit it down, do some new commentary. And then just create a concise guide for people. Because it is quite a helpful one, actually. And I'll make sure to give a shout out to chat. Right then, let's go ahead and give this to Zell. Yeah, 100 Aura. So Aura, of course, is just great for casting. Um, because it gives you unlimited limit breaks. But I think it's fairly good at uh, junctioning to strength as well. Okay, it's not as good as Meteor. 
Still pretty darn good though. Uh, Meltdown's always the best for vitality. Yeah, guard against. Uh, what is that? It's not death. Zombie, perhaps? Well, it's 100%, which can't be too bad. And look, pretty darn good for HP junctions as well. Better than Flare. Let's go for it. Flare's not as good as Meteor either. But we've got some upgrades here now, thanks to that aura. Yeah, I've got... Well, the first video I want to do about optimization Serenity that I'm going to be working on, I think, soon, is what Guardian forces uh, to have on each character. At least the ones I'm going to be using. But then, yeah, maybe we could do one on Magic as well. If that's what people want. Yeah, good point, Red Mario. And then we could put Meteor somewhere else, couldn't we? I mean, I'm happy to have it on HP because it's a huge boost to HP. All it is. I forgot about that. It is worth it. Let's go ahead and save, shall we? Alright then, folks. Well, I think it's time to take a break. Ooh, 1 hour and 51 minutes. Uh, it's been an interesting stream. So, I need to edit that video next. Expect that later today. Though, of course, for you guys watching on stream, it won't contain any new information. But hopefully, it'll be a benefit to those that didn't stop by. Uh, appreciate you folks that have shared some tips. Red Mario especially, of course. Your wealth of Final Fantasy VIII knowledge never goes amiss. Uh, hey, Yoda, Dark Swordsman Gaming and Guides. Thanks for stopping by. Hey, long time no chat as well. How's it going? Uh, sorry to say though, dude, you've just missed out on the stream. I'm just finishing up now. How's the channel going though, dude? Yep, I definitely need my sixth cup of tea of the day now, Vataloco. Uh, I can't believe I've got an hour and 52 minutes without a cup of tea. Yeah, the caffeine for my Pepsi Max has helped, but it's not the same, I tell you. It's not the same. Okay, folks, so next stream is going to be Wednesday. So just to clarify, uh, my streams now are Monday, Wednesdays and Fridays, 2.30pm. UK time. I will schedule about an hour or two hours before I go live because I know you're all in different time zones. So um, that at least help you get uh, become aware of when I am going to be streaming. Um, if I can get extra streams in, I'll do that as well. But in terms of the streams you know are coming, it's those days and at those times. But I don't feel like we've done a huge amount today, though we have made some good progress across Trabia, of course. Uh, next up, we've got the Exciting garden section. The Battle of the Gardens. Uh, and then we're pretty much done with Disc 2. Moving on to Disc 3 at that point. Disc 2 has found, uh, you know, felt quite a bit of a lengthy disc actually. More so than normal. I think we must have done quite a bit of optional stuff with the cards and what have you. Uh, yeah. See you later Chris. Thanks for stopping by. Zell's ultimate. Yeah, maybe, Roxanne. I need to be working on the other ones, the other ultimate weapons. Yeah, get those dragon skins, which I'll start uh, working on next. Red Mario. Yeah, yum yum. Thanks for stopping by. Oh, cool. Uh, Dark Swordsman. Check those out. On your channel. You enjoying Final Fantasy VIII at the moment? Okay, appreciate the uh, video to check there, Magnamic. I haven't seen it myself. Hey, Kaden Mikado. Apologies if I mispronounced your name. I usually do with people's names in chat, I'll be honest. I don't take it personally. But yeah, appreciate you stopping by to the channel. It's good to have you around. Okay, card the dragons and you'll have an easier time farming those skins. Brilliant, Arias. I will do just that. Yep. Thanks, everybody. David, Nate, Nah, today, Bobo, Robert, Arias, Roxana, uh, Shana, and everybody else. One Winged Angel, I can see as well. I'm only saying goodbye to those names that I can actually see right now in chat.
That's good to hear, Dark Swordsman. Yeah, I've noticed a lot of love for Final Fantasy VIII uh, in chat since I've been streaming. So good to see that people uh, are still enjoying the game. Oh, sorry about that, Jazz. Yeah, good to good to have you stop by though, even for the last minute or two of the stream. Yeah, good idea, Orias. All right then, folks. Well, I'm going to go ahead and finish off now. Yeah. Have a fantastic day, everybody. Whatever's left of it. And I'll see you all on Wednesday if you can make it. Uh, expect a couple of videos to pop up before then, though. Uh, I need to return to Nino Kuni Remastered as well at some point. But that's not my priority right now because I'm still working through Final Fantasy VIII. But we'll try and get it all done at some point. Yeah, have a great day, everybody. Won't be streaming tonight, yum yum, unfortunately. Uh, I've got to get on with a lot of accounting work, unfortunately. So, real life stuff, sadly. Yeah, catch you later, Red Mario. And everybody else in chat, take care. See you soon. Goodbye.